Um, so I'm kind of nervous to make this video because I haven't done anything like this before and I'm also hoping, well, I'm relying on the hope that no one else has. Because if no one else has, I may have created the thing. So the other day I was, what was I doing? I don't know. But somehow I stumbled back upon the idea that every book or every film is made from seven basic plots. And they are the plots that go overcoming the monster, rags to riches, the quest, voyage and return, comedy, tragedy and rebirth. They then got me thinking of like what books from these shelves fit this theme. Or any of these themes. And then I decided I wanted to make a video on it. And it could be a tag, it could just be a book talk. So this is going to be the seven basic plots video, maybe the seven basic plots tag. I'm not sure, I doubt it will catch on. I'm not popular enough to start things like that. But I want to do it anyway, because I like the idea. So the first plot is overcoming the monster. And I thought about this in like a literal sense, that you have Dracula and Frankenstein and their books are both about overcom overcoming a like literal monster like a vampire or this zombie creature then if you think about it from a different view you have like Hunger Games could be about overcoming the monster which is like overcoming a corrupt government and Divergent is overcoming Janine which I guess is also a corrupt government in a sense and also that like, guy from the, from the Legion I can't remember the name of suddenly the next category is rags to riches and the obvious choice for that is Cinderella who literally went from rags, like slaving around after her family to riches, queen, was she, was she a queen or was she a princess? I think she's a princess. Then I try to think of other rags to riches stories because I struggled because my mind went straight to like princess and like starting off with nothing and becoming something. I thought of a book called Undone by Cat Clark, which is on this bottom shelf somewhere. I think it's behind this. Where the main character, Jem, starts off as she's like the emo kid, because her best friend died and she's like unpopular, she's lonely. Then she gets like taken in by the popular kids in school and she becomes one of them, which I guess is going from rags to riches. I don't know if that counts, but I like the idea. And I'm going to say that this is my tag. I'm presuming no one else has done it. I hope no one else has done this. So because this is my tag, I'm going to make up the rules as I go. The next one is the quest. So where the main objective of the story is to set out and find something. I went... F I was going to go with this book. It's called Quest. He sets out... He's trying to become the apprentice to like the pie wizard's... What is it called? First of all, look how cute this book cover is. It, it, I love it. Uh, yeah, he's trying to become the apprentice to like, the head wizard. And when you do that, you have to take a quest. And in the book before, his brother and like his brother's kind of girlfriend get like lost in the past. So his quest is to go to the House of Forex, which is the, the place where all time meets. So his quest is to hit his dangerous journey and hopefully bring back his brother and brother's kind of girlfriend. Another example would be Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Where they all set out to find the Horcruxes. Then Briar Rose by Jane Oliver, I think it's also on the bottom shelf. She, when she turns 16, she goes into this deep sleep and ends up in a different world and her quest is to just get home. Then I was like, I'm gnawing about this one, but Paper Towns by John Green. And you know, I consider it, I think they're kind of on the quest, they're on the modern quest just to find Margot. I think it counts, I'm not sure. Next one is Voyage and Return, where you go on the journey and you come back but you don't set out to find something. So I went with Alice in Wonderland, she fought on the rabbit hole. And when she comes back, she doesn't really bring anything back with her apart from experience. And another one would be The Hobbit, where Bilbo goes out on that adventure. And I don't think he gets anything out of it. Yeah, I think Voyage of Return is about the only thing you receive is experience. The next one is comedy. And I couldn't think of any plots here that just 
based on being funny. Because I know like Percy Jackson's got every pleasant, there's characters who are funny, there are scenes that are funny, but the entire plot isn't about being funny. But I remember Shakespeare. I went to see much true about nothing in the theatre. Theatre? No, I watched a play for much Drew about nothing. And Shakespeare special well, he seems to specialise in tragic comedy, so tragedy and comedy. So I put much Drew about nothing and Midsummer's Night Dream were both comedy, I guess. Next one is tragedy. And I can't remember the specifics of tragedy, but I'm just guessing with it's one where things go wrong. For this I went with two of my favourite books of all time all on this bottom shelf in the corner where my favourite things are. And it's funny because I'm hiding away all my favourite things. I went with The Bunker Diary because Linus just gets kidnapped and trapped in this bunker for what appears to be no reason at all. And it all goes wrong, you could say. <sighs> it, it's a tragedy. I very nearly cried at the end. My next option is The Death House, which I talk about all the time, and I talk about how I talk about it all the time, a lot as well, which I always cried at the end as well, I reread it the other day, and it's worse when you know what's coming, because I can feel my chest getting tight, because it's dread, because I know what's happening. Like the first time reading a book, it's fine, it's unexpected and I might cry a little bit. But you know, I wasn't expecting it to happen. But when I know it's going to happen, it's that's worse. Like rereading books like that are horrible, and that's a tragedy because they live in the death house, and I think that's kind of a self-explanatory name. So rebirth is meant to focusing on someone who probably starts off as evil and turns good, and I couldn't really see how that was a plot. But I'm guessing that's a plot that's very character-based. The only one here I can think of is Damon from Vampire Diaries. Because he starts off, and at the beginning he's portrayed as the villain, like the character you should hate and be afraid of, even though a lot of us have a thing for the villains. So at the beginning he starts off, he's like a total badass, he's like evil. But then throughout the series, I don't know, probably around like the middle, I guess. Well, he spends all the time competing with his brother for Eleanor, so he's a bit of a dick. Then somewhere in the middle, he shifts and he becomes the good character who like saves them all. He's a saviour. And I don't know if it's rebirth. It might be rebirth because at some point, at some point around here, I think it's around there. He literally dies and comes alive again, and he's suddenly good then. So I guess that's Rebirth. I really can't think of anything else. But I wouldn't even say like anyone can carry on because even though Baz seems to be like portrayed slightly villainous, you have his perspective and you know that that's the complete opposite. So I can't really think of anything for Rebirth, so I'd be very grateful for some suggestions of books where characters start off bad and like turn good, or even better, ones who start off good and turn bad. I'm hoping I can pass this off as a tag that I've begun. I might leave it as a book talk. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't decided. But thank you for watching this. Uh, in the comments below, leave a suggestion for each of those categories because I'd love to read. Well, I love to read more books. And also, it's going to bother me now that I can't think of any decent books for each category. So leave them in the comments below. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.